Okay, so before us, we have a box. Let us open this. So, yeah, if you read the title, uh, I was debating whether to do this in a Doctor Items from box, but I think, I thought, since it came out this month anyway, I think, at the time of recording this, um, why not just make it its own unboxing, since it is a fairly new release. So this is the Paradise of Death and Ghosts of Endspace Amazon exclusive vinyl. However, I didn't get this from Amazon, actually. Um, I won it on eBay for uh, £65 plus um, £8.90 delivery. So it came up to just under 75 quid, which is a lot better than paying £90. I imagine the person who got this probably either works for Amazon or has had some sort of discount. But anyway, here it is. It's... A bit thicker um, than the Evil of the Daleks vinyl, but not quite as thick as the Daleks Master Plan one. And uh, a quick way for people to be able to tell on eBay is the sticker. Basically, blue sticker means Amazon exclusive. Orange sticker means the general or limited edition version. It'll also see whether it's exclusive edition and whether it's... On a Space World Splatter vinyl, whatever. Or just coloured. But anyway, uh, taking a look at the artwork. I do quite like this artwork um, for this one. And just comparing it to the cassette artwork. So here are the cassette releases, which are the only other versions of this story that I do have. Uh, I don't actually have a CD of this. Because uh, the CD is fairly rare. But anyway, taking a look at the back. Got a nice image of the TARDIS. Written by Barry Lex, starring John Pertwee, Elizabeth Slane and Nicholas Courtney. All of which are now unfortunately deceased. Anyway, let's get into this, shall we? I'm being as careful as I can with this and this does actually weigh quite a bit come on again there's a look at the artwork which again I don't like the logo that logo on the front but it is embossed and it is in silver and the same sort of design motif this time with a purpley sort of vortex it looks more pink on camera to sort of pinky purple it's almost lilac and again, all the cast information. Again, with the same design motif as the previous releases. So that's all nice, well and good. And what we'll do is, we'll get each one of these vinyls out and make the picture. So just taking a look at the inner cardboard, you can see we've got this time a sort of uh, turquoise swirl to match the other story included in this. And if I just uh, move the bottom side out of the way, you can see the two images here. So this time, rather than making, you know, one image, it makes two. And the reason is obviously because we've got two stories. So, yeah, we get a picture to make. And um, unlike previous releases, when you flip them over, uh, they're actually numbered with a TARDIS key. So, yeah, you don't get uh, two images with this one. It's just... Numbers, if I just uh, grab another. So yeah, they are numbered with uh, these ones. And if I just put the tripod down, well, I take a look at uh, both vi vinyls to see what they look like. I'll just do one of them because they all look the same on the inside. Again, same sort of design motif as we've got with a lot of the previous releases. Information on the back. Uh, let's take it out. And I do like the look of it. It does look sort of like almost jellyfish-like in its design. Especially um, if I put the camera up to the light. You can really see the look of that. And it does look really, really nice. I imagine this, is this looks more like a picture disc rather than 
um, injection moulding. Ooh, that almost looks like a screaming face there. But nevertheless, it does look really nice. Taking a look at uh, one of the other discs. Again, sort of same design motif that we've had before. Taking a look at the vinyl itself, this one is very vibrant and that. But actually, uh, this actually reminds me a lot of uh, Pink's Hurt To Be Human uh, album, the Target exclusive version. If you know what I'm talking about, um, yeah, it, it really does look like that. But anyway, let's have a quick look and see what it looks like turning on a turntable. Okay, so here we are. The moment of truth. Will this thing be sound any good? It's probably just going to sound exactly like a CD mask, only slightly better, possibly. But probably no better. But, yeah. Also, these ones. There we go. And I'm just going to stop it there, unfortunately, because I don't want the BBC to have my head. Unfortunately. And here, I'm not going to play any of this, but just to show what the other one looks like when it's turning as well. So, all looking very nice indeed. So, at least it's, you know, entertaining in that respect as well. And uh, my overall opinion on these stories are, um, they're not that... They're not that bad. Uh, to be honest, it kind of... They remind me a lot more, actually, of um, Big Finish's um, early audio dramas more than what you would typically think of when you think of um, BBC sort of radio plays that you would get nowadays. It's less of an audio booking. It's literally just two radio plays. So, yeah. Overall, though, in conclusion... Should you buy this? Because this, it retails for £90. And this version, the Amazon exclusive version, is limited to 500 So they're not going to be around for uh, that long. We saw that with um, Evil of the Daleks. So, yeah, if you're wanting the uh, Amazon exclusive version, then I'm afraid you're just going to have to get on it and buy. I just noticed there is a slight uh, crease there in mind, which is unfortunate. But uh, overall, I am pretty happy with the price I paid. If you can find it for a cheaper price, then yes, pick it up if you're bothered about the swirl. But to be honest, if that price tag puts you off and not getting in it, getting in it, getting it, then this is not for you. This is, you know, expensive. It is very expensive for what it is. I mean, even the price I've paid for it, it, it that is, you know, pretty pricey and up there for what it is but I do like the fact that you know, the Ghost of Angus Space and uh, Paradise of Death have had a re-release and the artwork I quite like it, I do quite like it, though I think it should have had something more on there to be honest it, it should have had something more because it does look a little bit plain, however once I place it in amongst my other Doctor Who Records collection, then, you know, it does uh, fit in well with the others. In fact, the only thing is, is that uh, it would be nice if they did write, you know, what it was on the side. For example, this one is Dark's Master Plan, the middle is Evil of the Daleks, and obviously this is Paradise of Death and Ghost of Engsby. So it would be nice if they do write it on the sides, just so, you know, when you put them in here, you can read what they are obviously they are color coded and because of the size of them i know what they are but you know it would be nice um regardless because for example the other ones here for example there's galaxy 4 and uh, some of the big finish ones there it just would be nice if they all fit in but regardless um that's it for this video let me know if this is something you'll be getting. To be honest, I was debating whether to get this or not. Because £90 is too much for me, to be honest, uh, for that. Even though I did want it, I wasn't prepared to pay that. And, you know, 75 is still a bit much, to be honest. I was kind of gritting my teeth at um, getting it. But... Regardless, you know, this, I mean, Evil of the Daleks, uh, Amazon exclusive version, that can be a lot more expensive. So, 
if you do want it but don't want to spend that much, I would just wait for the regular version to come down in price. But yeah, that's it for this video.